Hey there gamer, welcome to D6 Damage. So, I was recently thumbing through the Pathfinder Bestiary and I came across a real gem. You're gonna love this thing. It's the Giant Hamster. You heard me, Giant Hamster. Okay, basically, it's a hamster that's a large category creature. If you're not too familiar with what that means is, creatures like humans, elves, and dwarves are medium-sized creatures. A large category creature would be something like a horse. Yes, it's a hamster the size of a horse. Now, they're recommending that you get 800 XP for killing one of these things. It has an AC of 15. It has a touch AC of 10. Basically, touch AC is when the creature is denied its dexterity bonus. It has a flat-footed of 14, because it has, like, plus 5 natural armor, minus 1 from size. You know that. And in terms of hit points, it has 4 D8 hit die, plus 12. They're recommending an HP of 30, but I don't think you would make it too much harder if you gave it 44. In terms of saves, it's got a fort save of 7, reflex of 5, will save of 2. It's immune to diseases, and it scurries around at 20 feet per round, that's 4 squares, and it can burrow for 10 feet. Offensively, it has a melee attack, which is bite, with a plus 6 modifier to hit, and if it bites, it does 1d8 damage plus 6, and it gets to grapple. It covers a 10 foot square and has a reach of 5 feet. All right, now let's talk about the special attacks, and this is where the thing is just great. Its special attack is called Cheek Pouch. Basically, what that means is any creature which is two size categories smaller than the giant hamster, the giant hamster, if it has it grabbed from that bite attack, will be able to stuff it into its Cheek Pouch. It's like a strength check of 16 to get out of there. Imagine the possibilities, especially if you have something like halflings or gnomes in your campaign. Oh no, Waffles the gnome has been grabbed by the giant hamster, stuffed in its cheek pouch, and now the giant hamster is running away. Believe me, in terms of comedy, that will be one that the party is going to remember. These things live in temperate hills, if you're just looking for somewhere to put them, and they're organized into packs. Just dwell on that one for a second. These things come in packs. The party's just walking through the woods. Oh no, like 10 giant hamsters are attacking. And they don't have any treasure, so you don't need to worry about the party getting too much money off of this. Like I said, this is a great opportunity for comedy. It's kind of a silly enemy. It'll be a lot of fun for the party, especially if they've just come off a mission where they've had to do something really hard or unpleasant or emotionally draining, like they had to make some sort of big infamous type decision, and you just want to cleanse the palate with something really fun and silly. Oh, and don't forget about the giant hamster's burrow speed of 10 feet. That would be a good way to introduce them, having them just coming out of the ground like tremors or something, except a hamster. Now, there are also lots of fun opportunities for these things with the templates, like the fiend template. If you want the demonic giant hamster, or if you really want just over-the-top awesome silliness, the kaiju template. I love the kaiju template. That's if you want the party to fight Ultra Pee Pee. Thank you for watching D6 Damage. Come back next time for character builds, game strategies, and more.